Shanna here. Welcome to my channel all about finding joy while living with autoimmunity. I am so glad to have you here. So today I'm going to talk about how to have fun in the kitchen. So um, it is Saturday. I am in the kitchen doing some cooking um, and my daughter and I were having fun. We were playing some music and I was thinking how much I used to not like to cook. Um, before starting the autoimmune protocol AIP in January of 2018, um, I mean I knew how to cook like um, you know, some things, but cooking has never been my jam. Um, we would, you know, eat out a few times a week. We would cook easier things. And then really starting the AIP, starting to um, learn how to cook cleanly was a whole new ball game for me. And to top it off, I had to learn how to do it at my rock bottom, which was even harder because I didn't even feel well to function. And then I had to get in the kitchen and try to figure out how to cook. So a big part of what's helped me is finding ways to have fun in the kitchen because there's a lot, like a lot of times I don't really want to be in the kitchen. I'd rather be out doing something or having having some other kind of fun. And so I just wanted to share, in case you're feeling that too, I just wanted to share some tips that have helped me learn how to have fun in the kitchen. My number one tip, like my favorite, favorite way to have fun in the kitchen is to crank up some of my favorite music and to dance, to have like a dance party, either on my own or with my daughter or with my husband or all, like our whole family. Um, I just love to, it just helps me get my mind off of chopping vegetables or peeling vegetables or cooking or whatever I'm doing and it just I just start having fun also I love slow dancing with my man in the kitchen um, there's something about touch that is so relaxing and healing to me and so I love just you know if we're cooking dinner or if he's coming by as I'm cooking dinner I love to just turn on some slow music and just take a minute and just dance with him while something's boiling or while something's in the oven and it just it calms me and it grounds me and it brings me joy. So I love personal well, development podcasts. Um, some of my favorite are like um, Ed Milet, uh, Rachel Hollis, um, Justin Sua, Brennan Bouchard, um, Jenna Kucher. Um, I also love, there's a lot of good like um, health and wellness ones out there. There's so many, um, a few of my favorite are, are the Paleo View with Dr. Sarah Valentine and Stacey Toth. There's um, Phoenix Helix podcast, which is awesome. There's Emotional Autoimmunity, The Unskilled Cave Woman. There's so many. So if you just look up whatever topic you're interested in, podcasts are a great way to pass time in the kitchen and it will just, the time will fly by. So also Audible, um, audiobooks are great for while you're cooking. Um, again, I, I love personal development um, books. I love both of Rachel Hollis books. A girl wash your face and girl stop apologizing I, my favorite book right now is high performance habits by um, Brenda Bouchard and I love to apply what I'm learning to autoimmunity and learning to live with autoimmune disease it's so powerful empowering inspiring and motivating I love it um, if you're looking for like more of like a chill read you don't want to think too much I actually love um, Regency period like proper romances my favorite of all time is Edenbrook <laughs> It is so good. It's by Julianne, Julianne Donaldson. It's really, really good. Also, to have fun in the kitchen, it's important that we're not like stressed and out of time and trying to like go, 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 go. And I know that life can be so busy and so they're like, there's so many things. And then if you're not feeling well, that adds a whole nother element to it. But I encourage, um, I encourage us to make sure that we're allowing ourselves enough time in the kitchen so that we can stop and like enjoy it and dance silly or dance with our man or chat with our kids. Um, another huge way I find joy in the kitchen is when my whole family's in the kitchen with me. Um, whether they're helping me or we're just chatting, the kitchen is such a great place to just talk and to like just be together. Even if there's not a lot, a lot of talking involved, just to be together, you know, like with our spouses or with our kids or our families, if our kids like friends are over, the kitchen is such a great um, gathering place. And I've noticed as I started to cook more and more that as I'm in the kitchen chopping and cooking that my kids naturally gravitate to it and I just love it. Another thing that, another way that I find joy and have fun in, um, in the kitchen is by teaching my kids how to cook, by teaching them how to chop veggies, how to peel veggies, how to help with dinner, how to bake. Um, one thing that our family did for a while that was that was really fun um, was we would have like teams and like me and my daughter would be on a team and my husband and my son would be on a team or vice versa and one team would be in charge of making dinner and the other team would be in charge of well the cleanup and that was like a fun way to get everybody in the kitchen and um, everybody involved. 
our family were super big on eating dinner as a family at the table every night as much as possible. There's one or two nights that we don't because of kids' activities, but we really try to make that um, a priority and like have everybody go around and say what their favorite part of the day was and that kind of gets the conversation going. So anyway, I encourage you to teach your kids how to cook. Um, you know, it can be a chore. You can make them a chore like, okay, I'm gonna teach you how to chop mushrooms today, or I'm gonna teach you how to chop onions, or I'm gonna teach you how to peel carrots, or I'm gonna teach you how to, you know, bake, you know, blueberry muffins or whatever it is. So I encourage you to get your whole family involved. It really is, well, the kitchen is such a great, you know, a gathering place and a great place to just chat and talk and just to be together. Also some tips for having fun in the kitchen. Um, know who you are. So if you're somebody who is not into like batch cooking, I'm, I'm not yet at this point in my life. I'm just not there yet. So I typically don't like batch cook for hours at a time. I make a meal and I double it or I triple it. So I do have leftovers, but I don't make like three meals at a time because I'm the type of person at this point in my journey where the, that would stress me out. Um, occasionally, if I'm cooking one meal, then like I'll do like a variation of it at the same time, but I'm not a big like once a week, like woo, cooking storm or anything like that. Um, some other tips are make sure that you're taking, oh, but if you are like that, if you're like all about like well, the batch cooking and the getting it all done for the whole week, like more power to you, that's awesome. So just know who you are and don't, you don't have to be like anybody else. You, you know, you don't have to try to do something that works for somebody else. Know who you are and know what your needs are. Um, some other tips are like take breaks as you need to. So I did this a lot um, at the beginning of my wellness journey, I was very, very, very sick and functioning was very hard. And so I would, cooking and standing in the kitchen, you know, was hard. And so I would cook for a little while and then I would go and I'd sit down or, you know, or lay down for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then I'd come back and finish. And that really helped me. So cooking um, gave me a sense of accomplishment when I was at the beginning of my wellness um, journey because I couldn't do a lot. And so even though I would have to take breaks, I would be so proud after I would learn how to cook something new and clean, or I would, you know, it gave me a sense of accomplishment because at that time I couldn't do as much as I used to be able to do. I couldn't be, well, the woman and the wife and the mom and the super mom I was for years and years. And so um, enjoy your accomplishments in the kitchen. It's amazing. Even if you don't know how to cook, you can learn how, um, Google's awesome. Like how, you could Google, like how do I cook chicken breast in the oven for, you know, whatever. Um, so it's okay if you're not some gourmet chef. I'm still not a gourmet chef. I love to keep things simple in the kitchen. Um, at the beginning of my AIP journey, at the beginning, as I started to learn how to cook clean, I would keep things pretty simple, like a protein, vegetables, fat, and a piece of fruit if I wanted a piece of fruit. And I would just mix and match and just keep it simple and learn how to cook all of those things in a basic way, like how to roast sweet potatoes. I didn't know how to do that. Um, I didn't eat mushrooms before. So anyway, there's a lot to learn um, in the kitchen. Enjoy it. Give yourself so much credit for the progress that you're making and, and um, pat, pat yourself on the back. You're doing a great job. All right, you guys, so thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any tips for having fun in the kitchen. I would love to hear. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm always happy to answer them. I hope you guys have an awesome week. I have new videos. I publish new videos every week. So if you don't want to miss any, please hit subscribe and please know I'm cheering you on in your health and wellness journey. I know this life of living with autoimmunity is hard um, and I am here for you. I'm, I post on Instagram six days a week to be there for you and support you, to give you that daily boost of motivation. We can do this. We got this. I'm cheering you on. Have a great week.